Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group H round one match between Baylor and Andy Davo. Um, as you can see, Davo is using Necromantic, a surprise to nobody. He has a very nicely painted purple team here. Got the uh, fantastic hats for the pi the pirate zombies. You can tell who they are. Is it? But it's not really pirate, I don't know why I said that. We've got the wraiths with the sides. We've got uh, topless werewolves, a nearly naked ghoul. Um, you know, it's great, right? You can tell exactly who everyone is. Electric head, fleshies. Really like the uh, useful customizations to increase the uh, recognition of the players. Meanwhile, Baylor has gone for green and red chaos, a classic chaos all stars color scheme. Um, what isn't so classic is choosing chaos as a race because they are very, very, very poor in this format. Maybe you know worse than Old World Alliance and Imperial Nobility. They are a they are a rough old team. But Baylor is French and qualified from oh no, Coupe de l'Espoir Necro Soft. There you go, that's how he qualified. And Devo is from the UK, or Welsh, depending on uh, <laughs> what's happening. And uh, he qualified from the NAF BB3 Summer Qualifier. He won that. He also could have qualified a few different ways. He entered a lot of qualifiers and was in the final of multiple ones of them. So he, he managed to spread the love around to some other people who uh, qualified, thanks to him already getting the uh, qualification. And... Uh, Yep, so Devo's gone for the absolute bog standard Necro team. You only get three positionals if you do this. He's got three rerolls, 12 players, but he's only got three positionals that can, you know, handle the ball well. Blodge Ghoul and two Block Wolves and then four guards. And uh, so, yeah, this is a totally standard team, totally standard setup. Some people put the fleshies outside and the uh, wraiths inside, but this is a very common setup for the. Uh, Necro here, he's gone with an offset LOS as well, often in the middle. And uh, looking at the Chaos, yeah. So Chaos are like tier 4 for this. I think they probably should have been tier 5, honestly. Like, they, they need so many skills to make themselves competitive. Like, they're good long-term Chaos, but short-term, you know, they're just lacking block, basically. Block is the thing that they're lacking, so... They've taken three blocks, including one of the big guy. They've got a couple of guard. Wrestler, tackler, but you know, a tackler, just a naked tackler is a bit rubbish. Sure, uh, two heads, sorry, that's also not great. 12 players, I don't know. <laughs> They're such a rough team, they just don't have skills. And and the thing that's powerful about in res is skill stacking. Oh, wow, and Dave will start with a blitz. Jesus, you know, so like Necro stacking skills, right? They're stacking stand firm and guard. They're stacking sidestep and guard. They're stacking block, frenzy and claw. They're stacking block and dodge. And chaos are just like, I'll just have one skill, thanks. And it's just it's just not good enough. It's just absolutely not good enough. This is, you know, maybe, maybe Baylor, you know, only plays chaos, only likes chaos. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> we'll start with a 1 in 81, but luckily he had block. You know, maybe he just really likes Chaos, but I think for this tournament, they're a terrible, terrible pick. But you know, maybe he's a great player and uh, can make up for that, but... Wow. At least it, the Blitz wasn't the end of the world. Like, it's not good, obviously, to get blitzed on here. When I On ladder, right? On ladder, when they get to 1800 TV. But, and maybe if they were tier 6. <laughs> if they were tier 6 and they got, you know, four more skills than Necro, maybe then. But only maybe. <laughs> only maybe. Maybe they got five more skills. He didn't dodge this guy out at the end, so gets this guy surfed, which was definitely a mistake. 
Dave all loving that, free and easy serve. Oh, little Duble Skulls into a one and nine. Removes himself. Well, can't feel too bad about that after getting the surf for, for <laughs> the free surf to open the turn. Oh, <laughs> Kaz. Well, that helps a lot. And now that's a, there's a gaping hole, isn't there? An absolutely gaping hole. Which I guess wouldn't have been there if he hadn't won in 81. But maybe he could have moved somebody there before he made that block. Yeah, apparently you don't need Mighty Blow or Claw. You can just roll some dice. <laughs> the slight issue here is him not being in the cage. Because <laughs> he, he didn't really count the squares until he, <laughs> until he was there. Two two rushes and this would have been great, wouldn't it? But um... So he's just going to claw... All the guard. Well, you know, to be fair, the cage didn't matter in the end. Devo didn't, you know, chose not to make the rushes and stuff to get around the front. Instead, punches the ogre. Trusts that things will work themselves out eventually. Yes, I mean it's it's the it's the it's the Devo play style is is just bang 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 and then uh, and then you know it will all work itself out, which I've got to say it's a pretty good pretty good way of doing it. Andy is not an health coach. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he says. <laughs> this is a bit raggedy from the uh, chaos, but it's kind of inevitable, isn't it? <laughs> No, I knew, I knew, I knew it was a joke, but I just uh, chose to say that. <laughs> I guess I could have done something else. <laughs> Sorry, you've got Dimmy to do the jokes, so I've just got to stand here. Makes the dodge. Oh, he's got a rush as well. Doesn't re-roll it. Wow. Because I guess he's thinking he needs the reroll for his own offensive drive, but man, that was like a two plus to to be the ball, or was it a double GFI rush? Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was a double rush. So maybe if he'd failed the second one, he would have rerolled it because he was still only seventy percent to get the hit. It's really good though getting the hit. Then you've got two, two block steppers near the ball. Wait, he just blitzed a random dude. Oh, he's got two heads. He's going to dodge away. Dodge into the cage. No, nope. he's going to dodge into the end zone. Well, I think it was definitely right to clear a cage and dodge back into the cage. But there you go. Um, don't care too much about the ball. Make sure you bang and you'll get a chance to 2 1 win. It's a very good strap. 
It really is. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. It's a very good strat. Banging is really, really good. I think all these people who you know talk about overblocking. I think there's a lot of nonsense there. I think. Uh, I don't, it's, you know, there's not really such a thing as overblocking. There's like, don't be a complete idiot, right? Like, I mean, like, don't, don't block with the ball carrier instead of scoring a touchdown. Yes, that would be an example of overblocking. But uh, apart from that, blocking is just really, really good. to re-roll the um, next turn. Oh wow, it just keeps the formation. It's completely fine with it being this tight. things around a bit. It's a little bit weak now, isn't it? Is he going to uh, shore that up? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, he has to reroll there, he thinks. So you surely just blitz the fleshy here, right? And then come pouring through. Base both wolves, base the ball. Can you base the ball? Yeah. Base the ball. No! Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. He's got three players that can touch the ball, right? Yes, okay, you've got to power this. You've got two rerolls, though. You're 75%. Blitz this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Rush, right? Tag out the wolf, and then okay, no, just blitz with a blitz with the ogre, blitz with the ogre. One, two, three, four, five, and then this guy bases the wolf, and then this guy runs around and bases the ball, and then like a beast man r runs through and tries to base him, and then like then you you could just have this this warrior could be stood right in front of the ghoul, which is pretty good. This warrior can be on the on the wolf, and then like this beast man three, four, five, six rush and tag him. Like that's that's so good. It's actually so good. I think he had to go for the ball there. Could have ended this half two nil up. Like that's that's really good, isn't it? You know, like this is the weakness of the necro. They've got so few ball handling players. That was a very timid turn. Do not like how timid that turn was. Now it was definitely a go for the go for the throat turn if you ask me. Now that, that mistake by Andy, I think, leaving this so open. But, you know, Baylor didn't go for it. Can't rush here because he hasn't got a reroll, Devo, so just got to stand in a pretty rubbish spot. Super interesting. Yeah. So, a completely sensible turn there. If I have no rerolls. Blitz is the zombie. 
I guess he's going to touch the wolf because that makes it's kind of like the only way that blitz makes sense is if you're going to touch the wolf afterwards no oh. oh wow he dodges why not block with a block oh he's already activated the block oh dear oh wait, the bonehead oh Oh no. Oh no. Okay, you have to you have to not be here. You have to be out here, right? Like this is a gaping hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the gapiest gapy hole of all time. <laughs> it is a blockless blitz though. So I would have been I would have been tempted to like, you know, not blitz with him to get a block a block full blitz in. But maybe he needed maybe he needed the block players to get, you know, where they've gotta go. little strength of chaos there is is a strength for blitz with any player isn't it and there's a chance for a three plus for two dice on the ball here I guess apart from that you could just try and put things in the way but it's not very good is it so I think you dodge with him Bits, yeah. Only a push, diced. Olga does nothing. Where can this guy get? Rush. Okay, well, he's got a fair amount of stuff in the way here. Nice, lots of dodges. This is a little bit tricky with no rerolls. Goes for a blockless, a blockless block. No blockless blitz even, and another one. Gets the full power. the knockdown there oh, and then gets the one in nine there yeah that was just a lot of stuff he had to do wasn't it to get it done so nope wait oh yeah that was uh, that was Baylor's drive wasn't it they just put me down here so then this is the second half now the trap doors are out um, if you end your turn on it, no, not if you end. As soon as you go onto it, on a one, you act like you've been served. Might get injured. Do go off the pitch. So yeah, so it just it just went a bit there. So that was the end of the first half. Somehow, um, Bale defended, and you know, despite going the kind of more passive way, he did roll a lot of dice, and Dave was ultimately his lack of re-rolls was the problem. Um, yep. Oh, I actually really like I really like pushing him up there I know it I know it exposes the wolf a bit more but I'd really want him away from the ball because you can protect him with the wraith anyway right like or the uh, or the zombie I don't think it was really frivolous uh, one of the re-rolls Better turn ordering could have conserved it. But um might might still have been better to have re-rolled it even if even with better turn ordering. Like eating eating fails isn't good, is it? <laughs> you know? 
Like how many times is there like a, a fail and you think, oh, I don't have to re-roll that, and then they re-roll it and they kill your guy, and you're like, oh, turns out the re-roll was pretty good. It's the knockdown. That's a wild stand-up, by the way, of that beast man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolutely wild stand-up. I can't believe he just stood this guy up. So, like, both halves start... The, he, I can't believe Davo took the power. Okay, got the surf anyway. I actually... I can't believe Davo took the power. What were the chances? Oh, because he's going for the win, right? He's going for the win. In normal time. Yeah. So that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't go for the surf. Because normally you take the push there, take the push there, push him, surf him, right? So he's he's actually going to try and score early and go for the go for the win. Kaz, lovely. I didn't stand firm, what? This is weird. Because now he's just banging like it's a normal drive, right? After not taking the serve. And I guess he th valued getting the hit on the warrior. Hitting the warrior is pretty good here. I guess, but I would have thought you'd have served for sure. For sure, I would have just expected him to surf there, but yeah, punching a punching warrior is pretty good. This guy, you got to dodge him at the end of the turn at least. Oh, the the bonehead to stop a gaping hole. Wait, couldn't he have just done it anyway? <laughs> this guy could have just blocked him, right? Four, five, three, four. Yeah, because he's not. So he could have just punched him and had another gaping hole. Could he just block this zombie? Face this wolf? Blitz this wolf? Move something through. Don't hate that at all. Ugh. Bonehead's a killer though, isn't it? Wolf's exposed, so he goes for it. Yeah, I guess you've really got to look after your walls with when you've only got three players that can handle the ball. Is he going to hand off and run up? No. This is weird, man. It's weird they didn't go for the serve. Not going for the serve. Looks like he's going to score in like about four and uh, and go for the win. I'm bamboozled by the not surf getting. <laughs> oh, got to re-roll that. Blockless block. Blizz, got to eat them on the wolf and gets removed. Oh my goodness, Devo's in danger of losing now. Flip me. That's the problem, right? If you eat one, that can happen. Like, should he have ate that? Maybe not. He dodged. What are you dodging for? What are you dodging for, la? Why did he dodge? He could just punched him. You had this guy just punch him. <laughs> he can't block. <laughs> just punch him. Your string six, he string five. Punch him. I know you've got two heads, but punch. P 
Punch! <lacht> Now you can't punch. <laughs> oh my god, and Devo sidestepped there to allow the hit on the ball, which is a pow. What is happening? He pushed him, and Devo went out of the way? <laughs> what? What? That's insane! <laughs> he gets the ball on his wall! <laughs> oh god! Oh my god, the dodges! There's no fear at all from Bailey. All the dodge rolls. Flip me. Wow. So, I mean, Devo is now definitely no longer going for the win. This is scrapping for the draw. Double rush. He had to do it as well. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can just dodge for a 2D, right? And he doesn't. Oh, he's dodging with a two, for a 2D with this. But he had wrestled before. He can push him onto the thing! Oh my god, if he serves him! If he serves him, that'll be the funniest thing ever. Ah! Oh, dies. He got the ball and then he rushed! No! That was bonkers. I don't understand. I don't understand though. Like this is a one D against foul appearance and black. Like this could could have just dodged, right? This could have just been the dodge, and then you're hitting with wrestle as well. But I guess by doing like, because this is too risky. You've got two rerolls. I mean, yeah, risk was never his enemy, but that was hilarious pushing him onto the thing. He just kind of had used too much to get there, hadn't he? Really. He's, I haven't got enough players. This Kaz, this drive was absolutely brutal for him. They probably did both run out of time bank, yeah, to be fair. They probably did definitely do that, yeah. If I know anything about Devo. Also, why did he go so far? This this rush that he made. Look where he went. He could have gone one, two, three, four, and he went one, two, three, four, five. There's literally no reason. One, two, three, four. And you went up there. Because <laughs> you're always pushing him on the here, aren't you? Because you've got a one in six just to remove him, straight up remove him. Man. But that scattering now with both. Oh no, there's only one right. But no rerolls for Bela. Two for Devo. Probably just needs to take a minute to calm down at this point. <laughs> oh man. Yep, gotta probably gotta reroll that, yeah. Pick up the Wraith, yeah. Big mistake by Devo, actually. Good point. Very good point. He hasn't scraped the draw yet. There's still a lot of turns left. There's a gate dodge here as well. Oh, he said he's blocked with the, he's blocked with the wrong guy. 
Um, you, if you blocked with this guy, then he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, right? <laughs> Problem is cancelling the ghoul. So, whatever it is, you want to punch this guy, probably. And move, move this guy first, maybe. Maybe blitz with him. Maybe blitz the zombie with him and then get these guys in. This is definitely a wrong. Like, this is an awful block, right? This guy should have been blocking him so that this guy could have come back and uh, assisted in somehow, some way. Yeah, this rush is decent. But yeah, if he blocked with that guy, then this one could have made either this... This guy could have based him, yeah, yeah, and then this guy could have dodged. Or he's just going to double dodge instead. A single dodge, okay, so... <laughs> but it means he has freed up the fleshy. Just has to push him. In fact, wants to push him right because now he gets the chain here. But no knockdown. He just has to score here, doesn't he? Does he have to dodge, in fact? <laughs> has to use his last reroll. <sighs> wow. So now. Baylise driving for the win. No better than L's caution. <laughs> if I if I had had Baylise dodge dice, I think I might have won my first game. <laughs> um, yeah, he's been dodging crazy dodges. Solid D. He started really D. Interesting. And the wolf stayed out. That solid D was really helpful because I did not like that deep settle. Full power. Stay fantastic. Oh, now the horrible moment of... Oh, no, he's already blitzed. Wanting to blitz a foul appearance, but he just can't. Yeah, I also hate the trap. Wait, no, the trap doors are for the rest of the half, aren't they? For this half, yeah. So that, that's, that's, that's correct that they are now. What's bad is when they're still there for overtime. This is, this is fine right now. They are actually active. I don't know why his two heads is on the LOS instead of back to pick up the ball. Very weird. But no problem, he'll just dodge. Also really weird, um, you know, completing that cage corner. He doesn't need it. Look how dominant he is in the middle here. He absolutely does not need a player here. This guy could have been kicking out over there or doing something else. Perfect positioning of the tackle versus the uh, ghoul here, mind. <laughs> ah, but he gets based by a fleshy. Man, I think I would have started punching that wraith. The, the the solid defense actually killed killed the uh, scoring chance. I, I didn't really like Davos' deep defensive setup, but um, 
pointless serve. <laughs> Why not? Wow. I can't believe that uh, the game went that way. Um, yep. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I imagine Andy didn't didn't really share that view at the time. <laughs> but um yeah, it was great for a neutral to watch. And yeah, it's just got nothing. No way of getting in. Just like double chain him to get in. Uh, ever so slightly impossible. But man, if they, if honestly, if the chaos had been a bit more aggressive on defense, they could have come out two nil, two nil up at half time. So there you go. I mean, just just don't roll. Just don't fail dice rolls and then it doesn't really matter that you guys have got agility 3 and don't have block. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, look, fair play to Bale, all right. He didn't take a very good team in my eyes and uh, he certainly played high risk, high reward that game, didn't he? And he did get the high reward. He was, he was somewhat close. And he was somewhat close to losing 2-1, to be fair, like his early score, you know, did all... If he'd had a re-roll or two, he bangs that back in and just 2-1 grinds him. But, um, you know, the way that the game actually happened, he had a, he had a decent shot to to win in the end. So, yeah, fair play to Baylor and uh, well played, Andy. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.